Welcome to our video on rounding. We're going to cover two types of rounding, to decimal places and to significant figures. Let's start with a little rule first. The basics of rounding dictate that a value below a 5 goes to the lower limit, whilst a value of 5 or above goes to the upper limit. To round 43 to the nearest 10, we isolate the value we are rounding to, in this case the 4 in the tens column. We add a rounding line to the right of this. We then look if the value immediately right is less than 5 or 5 and above. For 43, it's less than 5, so we round down to 40, replacing the value right of the rounding line with a 0. For 46, 6 is higher than 5, so we round up to 50, again replacing the digit to the right with a 0. Try 45 and 44.8. Let's put this into practice with decimals. If we want to round 5.32 to one decimal place, this means we need one digit after the decimal point. Imagine if we placed 5.32 on a number line. We would either round it to its lower value, 5.3, or upper value, 5.4. Applying the method we have learnt, the digit 2 is immediately to the right of the rounding line. 2 is less than 5, therefore it will go to the lower value, 5.3, with the 0 not required on the end. For two or three decimal places, apply the same method, just with the rounding line after the number of decimal places you need. Try pausing and having a go at these questions. How did you do? Significant figures. The method of rounding to significant figures can be applied to any number of any size. For example, the sun is, on average, 149,597,870 kilometers from Earth, but we tend to say that it's 150 million kilometers away. This is the true value rounded to two significant figures. A significant figure is any number value between one and nine and inclusive zeros. For example, the zero in 3,890 and the zeros in 0 0.0715 are not significant as they're on the outside. But the first zero in 40,710 is significant as it is within values between 1 and 9, which are significant here. To round to one significant figure, find the first significant value, then add a rounding line to the right side, just as with the decimals, applying the same rounding rules, replacing rounded values with zeros. For example, 31,248 to one significant figure, 3 is the first, so we round the next value, 1 is less than 5, so we round to 30,000. To two significant figures, try 42,085 and 0 0.68153. How did you do? So there you have a quick guide of how to round to decimal places and significant figures. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well? Until next time.